Welcome back to the Crypto Passive Income YouTube channel. We have a lot to cover today. We're talking about our DeFi yield farming passive income strategy from A to B to Z to everything in between. We have to treat this like a business. Can we make that promise? Leave it in the comments. I'm going to treat my DeFi portfolio like a business. If we can think like investors and entrepreneurs, you will see so much success in this space. If you're still thinking like ROI, DAP, I'll just click a button and hopefully I'll make some money. You're a gambler and you're not going to have longevity. And it's not timing the market. It's time in the market. That's all I ask in the comments. Just handshake, confirm that, that we're going to align with that because you will see results. If you don't, you won't see results. And you're going to blame DeFi. You're going to blame crypto. You're going to blame YouTube. You're going to blame whatever you have to blame. Treat it like a business slow and steady monthly returns. We're going to talk about all that today. We do have a lot to cover, so I'm going to get straight into it. What is DeFi? Fundamentally, how I really want us to think about it is we're market makers. We are Wall Street. We are the banks. We are putting up capital, adding liquidity into markets so that when the participants buy, sell, trade, swap, do whatever it is they do, we get paid fees. Just like the banks, just like the Wall Street does in a way we're like the middleman in a way we get paid those fees so we have to start asking the questions where do we go to earn the most fees what chains what pools what indicators are we looking at and that's what i'm going to cover in this video you know what kind of volume should we be seeing what kind of tvl should we be seeing and if you can understand this basic framework you'll do well finding opportunities that fit you and your portfolio instead of just randomly guessing or asking what pool is the best, because what pool is the best is really dependent upon your portfolio and how you are choosing to build your business, not mine, yours. It's a business. You are building a business. So far, so good. Uh, by the way, also leave a comment because you'll be automatically entered into our giveaway, which we're now giving uh, one month access into the UIG. So you literally get access into all of the live calls. We have a new team member joining tomorrow, Maddie. He is a brilliant, brilliant. He's He actually used to run his own trading group and signals group. So, But you get access into our live calls, our communities, our six-figure DeFi challenge, all of our educational portals, all of our investor groups, and the pro DeFi group, which is coming out this month. We're always sharing thoughts, insights. The technical analysis arena is something really worth studying because this will help you set ranges. So uh, make sure you leave a comment below. You'll be automatically entered into the UIG giveaway. Uh, final quick note too, I started a brand new Instagram. It's a way for me to connect. Some of you have already followed it and we've actually been able to DM back and forth a little bit. So do follow the new account, Rubixinator. It is me. It's not a fake account, but it is new. I started it a few days ago. It's been awesome connecting with y'all because that's something YouTube doesn't allow. So come follow the new IG and shoot me a DM. Say you came from YouTube. I'd love to hear from you. All right, so the first thing we want to look at is DeFi Llama is a great tool, by the way. You're probably familiar with it. I can look at all the different chains from Ethereum to the Binance Smart Chain to Solana to AVAX to Base to Cardano to I can keep going to Osmosis, SUI, which has been treating us very well. We're in a yield farm and I just make more SUI. We'll get into that in a sec. Uh, on and on and on. Now, what you want to do is go down to categories and you'll get a better understanding of what DeFi is. What are all the different categories in DeFi? DeFi? We got liquid staking, which is a great way to have your assets. Um, you basically, can stake assets and get a token in return so you can make more yield on it. Uh, you can lend, which is a great strategy to get consistent returns. I make around 20 to 30% lending cryptos. Uh, and DEXs, this is where we want to look at. So I can hop over to this DEXs here and I can start looking at the biggest DEX, which is Uniswap. We got PancakeSwap, we got Sushi. We got Osmosis, we got Orca, we play on all these. We got Trader Joe, Velodrome, Radium, QuickSwap. These are all DEXs where participants in the market are buying and selling and swapping. And there's volume thro flowing through these DEXs. Let me know if this is so far so good. There's volume flowing through these DEXs. We want to add liquidity. We want to basically be market makers so we can get paid fees as volume through these chains and DEXs and assets flows. Which is why it's important, and I want to look at some of our rules here, which is why it's important when you're getting into a pool, you want to ask yourself first a few questions. Would I want to hold each one of these assets? Would I be okay getting fully converted into each one of these assets? Meaning if the ratio in my pool goes either way, am I okay with that? Is there any utility for the token or asset? Meaning we want to actually invest in things that have value. We're not gambling here. We're not DGENs. 
Get that out of your system. And does the asset have strong foundations? Now I'm skimming here. Uh, if you are in the UIG, please, please go to the Six Figure DeFi Challenge and go to Quest 2, Mission 4A. We have seven quests. They work you from, you know, $100 a month to $300 a month to $750 a month to uh, $1,500, $3,000, $6,000, $10,000 and beyond. We do have people doing 1000 bucks a day, which is more like thirty k a month. At 4A here, it's going to be entering and exiting liquidity pool criteria. It's a very deep lesson on what we look for in terms of volume, in terms of assets, in terms of correlation, in terms of trend. And David is a genius when it comes to trends and and, and reading charts, uh, which DEXs to choose and which chains to choose. So I'm just going to skim through this here. We want to look and ensure that we're investing in pools and assets that have some minimum TVL, meaning there's not just a couple hundred bucks in the pool. We want to look at correlation. So, and we will look at trends. So if you think the market is trending up, you may want to get into more correlated pairs. If it's sideways, you can be good correlated or linked with a stable asset, like a stable coin, which I love those because it oftentimes decreases the volatility of my DeFi portfolio, but it does depend what the market is doing. And again, we'll talk about all of this stuff here in a sec, a volume return. So we want to find pools where the 24 hour volume is equal or greater to TVL, meaning there's a lot of volume flowing through the DEXs, meaning you're getting paid a lot in fees. Then it's important to select the right DEX. So if we go back to here, you know, we, we hang out mostly on Uniswap. We do some pancake swaps because I do like actually the cake token and pancake swap does have some pretty good returns. Sushi, but you may not want to go into you swap or pad swap, which has $195,000 of TVL. And God knows, you know, how safe and secure it is like you even if they're offering you 5000% over on Hera swap, you probably don't want to touch it. It's got $12,000 TVL, like you're, you're probably going to get rugged, or you're going to lose all your money. Like just don't do that. So we stick to the big ones. It's important to select DEXs that you're long term bullish on. So for my instance, I'll be in Uniswap, let's just say, and I got positions in ARB USDC, uh, ETH USDC, Radiant ETH, USDC, Rap Bitcoin, GMX ETH, so on and so forth. What happens here, and I want to go back to here, what happens is I'll be in different pools. So this is my business, and within my business, I have certain investments. They cash flow me. I may have something doing 234%, something doing 187%, something doing 122%. By the way, these are real numbers, and I pulled them off of uh, here. So you know, uh, there was a pancake swap, a super awesome pool that most of y'all's are, I'm sure, in. Uh, actually, we do have someone in this wrapped ETH ARB. Uh, I'm on the Uniswap version of it, but they're doing 280% right now over there. Uh, USDT and Wrap BNB is 234% on Pancake Swap. We've got some wrapped ETH USDC on Trader Joe doing 204% on the Arbitrum. It's important to choose the chain that has the lowest fees because fees we see as expenses in your business and uh, they will eat into your profits. So the point is you're in different pools. Now, this is where it gets really interesting is these pools are earning you fees. I'm going to draw some arrows here. They're earning you fees. Clearly, 234%, 187%, 122%. And so you're getting paid in fees. You're getting A token, B token, C, D, E, and F. You're getting paid all those tokens. Now, how I run my business is I'm in different pools, different opportunities. Sometimes it's single-sided staking or liquid staking. Sometimes it's not 122%, but it's 40% on stablecoin. Sometimes it's uh, lending. So I can lend, uh, I'm doing some lending on ExtraFi and I get paid really, really good returns both in stablecoin and in the ExtraFi token. So that goes into my bull run portfolio. So I'm always looking for pools where I can earn assets that I want to hold long term. Now the bull run comes, ETFs get approved, institutional money comes in, there's cycles in crypto and all of these assets. And please let me know if this makes sense because all of these assets rise in value uh, to the tune of 50% on a super weak side, 200%, 300%, 500%. If you're getting ARB at under a dollar, which, you know, we were, we were adding liquidity for ARB and 
ARB was under a dollar and we're earning 210% on ARB, and ARB goes from a dollar to eight dollars, now you're earning yield on yield. And you hear me say that a lot. This is our strategy. It's not overly complicated in theory, but it's about managing that portfolio that it, it is like, I think people are insane when they try to start a business by themselves. My first business, when I started it, I found any little spare coins in cash I could, and I just invested in mentors to help me accelerate it, which is why I was able to build a business so dang fast. It's simple in theory, but it does take studying. Study this YouTube channel. At the end of this video, I'll leave some more videos up here. Study it. Take notes. Treat this like a business. Take this seriously, and you'll reap the rewards. I think a lot of people are entering crypto DeFi hoping to make some quick money, which you can but they're not willing to put in the time and effort into actually really applying it. And then they wonder why they don't make any money or they lose money and they see massive impermanent loss because they're not hedged against the impermanent loss, or they just have no understanding of what it is they're doing other than just jumping into random pools. So like I'm saying, these pools may not be the best for you. Like don't get into some of these because they may not be best for you and your portfolio. They may not fit your overall strategy. I think from yield farming now, I think my bull run portfolio is well over 300K. I don't even think things have really gotten started yet. That's a multi-million dollar portfolio with the way it's structured. Give me one, give me one vehicle that you can invest in that will earn you those kind of returns. You can't. You can't. I've studied every investment I could possibly make before I started investing, and there was not one investment or one vehicle that would earn me the rewards that crypto and DeFi have and will. Not one. And so here's my recommendation to you. Jump on DeFi Llama. Have a look at the different categories just to get familiar with it. Jump into your pools. Set a TVL of a million dollars minimum. And just have a peek through some of the returns, some of the yields you can make. Stay away from the super risky stuff. Find assets that you want to hold long term. Find DEXs that you trust. And start adding liquidity, start setting really wide ranges to learn the ins and outs, start earning fees, stacking them for your bull run. And then one last strategy here that I know I have a lot of videos on is you're going to ladder out. So as the markets start getting really, really heated, remember there's cycles in markets. So you've got sort of the uh, accumulation phase, you've got the growth phase, and you've got the bubble. The bubble is where we want to start offloading some of these assets. We want to start taking profit. You're going to move those profits into stablecoin or into US dollar if you so choose to, or maybe you're going to invest in alternative assets to at least, you know, keep up or just beat inflation. And when the cycle resets, guess what you're going to do? You're going to do it all over again. And that's how you multiply your wealth where most people have to work 10 or 20 years to do what an investor can do in one year. I used to be so resentful of that because I was like, oh, they don't do any work. But then when I actually started realizing anyone can play that game, let me start becoming an investor. I can make more money in a year than I used to work, work in 20 years. What holds most people back is their mindset. We just had someone post a comment in the community that was like, oh, the mindset stuff is well worth the entire UIG. And I would have to agree because everything is mindset. And if we can learn how to click into an investor mindset, become a little looser with our cash, make it work for us instead of holding on to it for dear life, you can multiply your worth wealth very quickly. And I say very quickly, I mean like what takes most people a decade to do, you can do in a year as an investor, if not more, depending on how you're investing. But choice is ultimately, ultimately up to you. Let me know what landed. Do let me know. Study this stuff. Can we make that promise? Handshake? Leave a comment below if you're committed to this. I will leave a video here and here and here and here for your viewing pleasures study. I cannot tell you that spending an hour studying something, just an hour, makes a world of a difference. Most people, they just try something for a few minutes and say it doesn't work and then call it a scam. And I'm just like, I can't help you. So study, please study. Subscribe to this channel, like this video. I will leave some videos up there. And again, don't forget to check out the new Instagram at Rubixinator. Would love to connect with you personally. Do send me a DM. And with that said, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.